What's up, Paxters? Blues have sent us a LoRa starter kit to unbox, with everything you need to set up a network of wireless IoT nodes, with long-range, power-efficient communication and a single gateway up to the cloud. It's an approachable entry point into the world of LoRa and LoRaWAN, and a cost-effective way to retrofit existing small or large installations, with affordable modules that work out of the box with things stack compatible gateways. Create your own network or link your hardware up to an existing one with a few clearly documented steps. Check out the Blues Hub on Hackster.io, linked in the description, for open source projects and tutorials published by members like you. Plus, subscribe here for more hardware unboxings, tutorials, and interviews. I'm your host, Alex Glow. Let's dig in. This kit comes in at just under $200 and includes a gateway and supplies for three standalone LoRa nodes, each composed of a note card LoRa, a note carrier B, a battery, and an antenna. The note carrier is each node's nervous system, a small breakout board for connecting sensors and displays. This one is compatible with all note cards, including Wi-Fi and cellular options, as well as LoRa. With labeled pins and soldered or loose headers, plus a battery connector and an I2C port, it's a solid base for your prototypes and small runs. The note card LoRa is each node's connection to the gateway. Its M.2 key E form factor slots into the note carrier, or a board of your own design, and it runs on an STM32WL LoRa MCU and takes an antenna. Baked-in features help conserve power throughout your network, and the Blues team offer detailed notes on designing your own power-efficient nodes. Note that my kit comes with LiPo batteries, but future editions will transition to using the Scoop battery holder, so they should reach your door faster. This note card supports the Things Network gateways out of the box, and can be programmed using a JSON API that's cross-compatible with the cellular and Wi-Fi-based note cards, as are the physical connectors and footprint. So you can mostly swap it out to test different wireless options, with a few restrictions because LoRa is comparatively low bandwidth, as well as low cost and low power. You can also control it from a microcontroller or SBC, with one of the many open source firmware libraries, over Serial or i 2 c The note card comes in two flavors, for the US and Europe, so make sure you get the right one. The included flexible Molex antenna supports either region. In some areas, especially in Europe, you'll find that you can tap into regional networks that have packet broker enabled joining or expanding a resilient network of peers, approaching the flexibility of cellular, and without needing to learn a ton about the LoRaWAN technology itself. But you can also set up your own network however you want, with complete control over your privacy, security, and other configurations. The WizGate EdgeLite 2 LoRaWAN gateway connects all your nodes up to the cloud, over Wi-Fi or Ethernet, offering an almost literal plug-and-play startup experience, since it's pre-provisioned on the Blues Things stack tenant. The gateway sports web UI support and a TF card to buffer your traffic and back up the logs, all inside a cooling conscious enclosure with DIN rail mounting options. In-depth documentation is available to support you at every step. Once you've created your network, you can add more nodes at a low cost per unit, covering a large area with a single gateway. With LoRa, network connectivity range depends on the physical environment and obstructions to line of sight. Indoors, start at under 100 meters and test from there. In a clear outdoor area, you could get up to a full kilometer, which of course you'll want to test before deploying fully. Thanks again to the team at Blues for sending this over. If you love hardware, join Hackster.io to find tons of wireless IoT projects and publish your own. Join our contest to win fabulous prizes and keep up with the latest on Hackster News. Plus, check out our previous video featuring the Blues Global Starter Kit. Hack on.